Unboxing. I'm here with a Super Saiyan God, Vegeta. And that's from the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie. But before we move on to that, though, I'd like to thank all my new subscribers, though. And I'd like to thank everybody who's been liking my videos and sharing it. Also, too, I really enjoy the conversations with people who's been leaving the comments, though. If you want to leave a comment, leave it there. I love to just conversate with figures about Dragon Ball and compare some other things that you guys are watching out there. But, yeah, let's get to the main figure. It is Super Saiyan God Vegeta. I'm so excited to see this. I didn't get this on pre-order. I seen this at a store locally um, at one of my game stops. They had them at two different ones. One was a stretch. So, I had to go to that one because the one that was closest to me, someone just happened to put that one on hold. And um, I had to have this Vegeta figure. This is one nice figure and i think this is one of the first figures to actually go super saiyan god red hair vegeta so that's definitely a must get um let's go over the box we got three figures here that come in this collection um you're gonna have super saiyan god goku and you're gonna have broly um they don't really show broly's face but they do have goku's face and they do show vegeta um, I'm not going to get the Broly. I don't really want to get the Goku because I already have a lot of Gokus. There's so many Goku figures out here. And I'm not saying this one's bad, but I've seen better. But honestly, I'm going more into Vegeta right now and uh, tell you my honest thoughts about it. So let's just open up the box. Um, cut open the tape though because, you know, sometimes I don't like cutting it open on screen. I just want to get straight into the video. Once again, you're watching Frankie B TV, and this is Epic Unboxing. And in the Vegeta figure, it is going to come in three pieces, though. Notice how they cover and protect the face with the extra film in the packaging because nobody wants to scratch face figure when they first open it. And then you get the legs here, and you get the leg peg. And now, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to put this together, though, so we can get back to this Epic Unboxing. Let me start off by saying, though, it is a good time to be a collector, and better yet, it is a good time to be a Dragon Ball fan, though. I mean, who would have ever thought we would have had Super Saiyan God powers, and then Super Saiyan God Vegeta? I'm going to start off by saying, this figure is a little bit smaller than expected, but don't let that discourage you from going out and buying him and collecting him and adding him to the set. This figure is really, really nice, and it is one of my favorite just by looking at it right now. I really love the armor. I really love the color and details. I mean, I want to go over all of it right now. I'm going to give you a better look of it as soon as I start, uh, as soon as I get done rotating this for you real quick. I just want to show you the back. I do want to show you the side pose. And I mean, just look at the hair right there. I mean, that's what I love about these Dragon Ball figures though. So one thing that gets me is the hair. It's always the hair. I mean, different sculpts, from different artists and the colors they use but I really love I just really love the sculpt on this one this one's real sharp this this is nice I mean this is Vegeta well done um, probably one of the best figures I've seen but let's get further into this detail and I also want to do a comparison with some other figures that I got back here all right guys I got this figure for $24.99 at GameStop and that is not bad for this figure this looks great. I really love the color they use for the hair. It kind of reminds me of like a Laffy Taffy color with the metallic. But wow. I mean, I mentioned in one of my other videos that Vegeta had the Sonic hair. This is even more Sonic-like, but this is dope. I mean, I don't know what else to say, how to describe it, though. I really like how they made the Super Saiyan God look, make the characters look young when they go Super Saiyan God. And Vegeta, Vegeta looks awesome. His armor is off the hook, though. They really captured it. They really captured the look like they did with the Grandista Bardock. I love the specific colors that they used right here for the armor. It's not just like a white. They really used like a, a special color for the shading. I'm not with, sure what you want to call that, though. Kind of like a light purple, but could kind of grayish, too. I mean, God, Vegeta looks dope. This is tight. A little smaller than expected, but don't let that discourage you. Let me show you guys a final comparison. I wanted to bring out my more bigger figures, the Kaijus, as I call them. 
Here goes the Dragon Ball Full Power King Cluster Broly. I also did a review on him. I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to check that out. And thanks again for checking this out. Once again, this is Frankie B TV with Epic Unboxing. And here we go with the Grandista Bardock. Now this is <laughs> this is one awesome figure. I'm very, very happy to have this one too. One of my first figures when I started collecting. But yeah, and notice how I like I mentioned the armor. I really love the armor. And I mentioned the Grandista Bardock. Um I love that scouter too. But just look at the paint job and the sculpt on the armor. And they really captured that, recaptured that with this Vegeta figure. And I'm really happy with that. But when we go to the size comparison, Grandistas are a lot bigger figures. So that's a little inconsistency. Well, that's a big inconsistency. But these two figures look great. I would display them with each other. And when it comes to the King Cluster Full Power Broly, I would say the scale is pretty there because Broly gets pretty big in the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie. Now, that's not a spoiler. I've been spoiling like Dragon Ball Super Broly stuff in like all my videos. So if you haven't seen the movie, I recommend seeing it. I recommend seeing it in all my videos and I'm recommending it again. Go see the Dragon Ball Broly movie. Okay, guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm about to wrap with the review, though. This is Frankie B with Epic Unboxing. This is Super Saiyan God Vegeta. $24.99 at GameStop, though. Um, I'm not sure if they're still there. They said he wasn't for sale. I found him locally, so you might have to look else places. You may pay a little bit more, but he is worth it. Go grab him. A little smaller than expected, but that doesn't take away from any of the detail. He's definitely a must-have, especially if you're a big Vegeta fan. Who's not a Vegeta fan? He is one of the greatest anime characters ever. And, I mean, he's really come a long way from his villain days. And now he's a Super Saiyan God. I mean, Super Saiyan God Blue is a, stronger than this, though, but... When I seen this figure and I just, I mean, when we saw the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie in theaters and he took this form, I mean, heads explode, excitement, nerdgasms everywhere. Nah, I'm just playing though, but some people had to clean it up because they was just getting all of it. Well, like Vegeta. Anyway, this is Frankie B. This is Epic Unboxing though. If you want to talk about anything, leave it in the comment sections though. Thank you for the likes and the new subscribers though. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I am Frankie B. This is Epic Unboxing and I'll catch you with another review very soon.